Okay, we'll call to order and confirm the appropriate meeting notices. Yes, at Piggly Wiggly Ace Hardware, City of Milton, Township of Milton, and the Milton Fire Department. Okay, thank you. Uh, approval of the agenda. So moved. Second. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, so approved. Approval of the minutes from January 19th. Mm -hmm. I would move approval. Can we have a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'll abstain. Okay. Any opposed? Okay. So moved. <clears throat> any public participation? Do we have any besides these six? And Jenny? Okay. All right. We'll move on to old business and... Uh, Chief Parker is not with us tonight, but we have Chris Lucas with us, subbing for him. Thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll start with start with the update regarding the ambulance purchases uh, from the town board and the city council. Can you tell us where uh, we're at? Yep, uh, the city <laughs> and the town approved, and the commission, I believe, approved the purchase of a new ambulance. Uh, that invoice uh, was submitted and signed and has been returned back to Foster Coach mm -hmm. on order, and that's where it's set. Okay. And uh, as we had discussed with uh, Jeremy and with everyone else, that this will take at least a year, if not uh, 14 to 15 months, to complete the process, correct? That is correct. It's a pretty extended build time. Okay. Uh, I'm still trying to get caught up from. Chris, do you know if the manufacturer Foster actually had any recent input on a timeline? I do not I hear that question. Has Foster Coach actually had recent input on the timeline build? Not to my knowledge. Um, so I, I understood that while it could take a good year. There, there's a outside chance that it, if things fall right, that may show up in November, but that was no promises. Okay. Okay. Um, Chief Pickering did not note any changes, nor did uh, Coach, uh, the representative from Coach, when we sent this through. So if you've heard anything different, Brian, I'm not sure. Okay. No, this was information at the time that we were approving the actual purchase itself. Um, so it was vague information, but it was spoken. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, any other questions regarding the ambulance purchases or purchase? Okay. Uh, update regarding Union Local 580 contract. Chris. Uh, Chief Parker did meet with a couple of representatives from the, uh, the local Gainesville Local 580 Executive Board to start uh, the process of putting together a contract for full-time employees. Um, I know that uh, they've all completed the paper, the full-time employees have completed the paperwork to join uh, the union and um, that's kind of where it's at right now. We have not seen a contract. Uh, we do know that it's going to be pretty close to uh, what Edgerton has for their fair, <laughs> which we kind of expected that from. I mean, so no big surprise there. Chris, um, I simply don't know the answer at all, but um, some of the, or part of these full time are already part of the union in Janesville, right? They've joined the, some of the guys that were already here, um, you know, right from the beginning have, have joined. They've just been working without a contract. Um, when uh, the Janesville Milton thing kind of dissipated and things started heading a, a different direction. Um, and I can't speak for their 580s uh, board, but I, I think they wanted to just kind of hold off and see where things went before they 
came up with any type of a contract and things totally got changed. So, so how uh, many currently with the four on full time, all the time or whatever, how many full time employees would qualify for membership to a union? Um, total number. It would be the, the three or four um, full time firefighter EMT paramedics. And there's some question as to whether or not the administrative system would also qualify for that. You yourself are part of the Jamesville Union right now, right? Through, through the Jamesville? I, I used to be. I am not now because I'm administrative. I'm in administration. I'm no longer in the union. Okay. I was just curious because I know nothing about that at all. So I just wanted to understand what the relative, relative conversations might wrap around with the fact that we're not union in Milton. Okay. And what I know is that it'll, there'll be a sub chapter of local 580 in Janesville, just as Edgerton is. Um, and then if Milton and Edgerton end up coming together, then they would all be one. Uh, Milton and Edgerton would be a sub of 580. Um, yeah, as of right now, I know that uh, the conversations that they've had is uh, their e-board wanted to see some of our SOGs, specifically a drug and alcohol SOG. And uh, it's basically just the conversation of wages, working conditions, and benefits. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, you can see that we did not have any new business. And so we can move on to the chief's report. Chris? Yep. Um, so we responded to a total of 93 calls for the month of February. Uh, that's getting to be pretty normal. We, we average right around 100 calls a month. Um, February training included forcible entry, uh, rope rescue, cold water rescue, and bloodborne pathogens training. Um, we are in the process of holding a promotional process for a lieutenant and two members of the department have been promoted from lieutenant to captain. That is uh, Mitch Severson, who was a lieutenant, and Rob Doxey, who was a lieutenant, have both been promoted to captain. Um, and then the paper or the posting for the open lieutenant spots went out. Uh, I submitted it to Chief Parker yesterday, so I don't know if he officially posted it or not. But that's just uh, some of the positions were open from before. And with the different uh, administration, so to speak, over the last few years, some things have kind of fallen out of play. Some positions we just didn't fill because we didn't know where things were going to wind up. So we're kind of trying to get back on track. Well, congratulations to the promotions. Uh, Jenny, could you list those specifically in the minutes so that we have those? Yes, I will. And I think it, we want to do in the, in the next month or two, like a pinning process also with them. That'd be great once we're oh. back, in, back in person. Right, when we're back in person, yep. Okay, thank you. And I think a newspaper would be good to contact for that too. Yes. We never did a pinning ceremony for the chief yet either, did we? No, we have no. not. No. Do all the ceremonies at one time and go through the promotions. Okay, yeah. But well, Chris, um, I, we, you know, Teresa and I and others have talked with you and the chief and and we talk about moving forward with these promotions, and I, I'm glad to see that um, we're, we're addressing that. Yeah, and I guess that would be the next thing on the report is uh, we, the chief officers of the department, um, have been meeting. We've had a couple of meetings with uh, uh, Chairperson Roosh, um, Mayor Welch, Chairman Meyer, and uh, um, Administrator Hewlett to kind of discuss some of the concerns of the members and the administration of the fire department in regard to uh, the way things are moving and 
forward with Edgerton. Um, you know, just a lot of uncertainty and a lot of questions. I think those meetings have been helpful. We're going to meet probably again um, in the future to talk about some more things. But uh, And then we've also had some meetings with T. Pickering uh, from Edgerton to talk about how some things might look as this moves on. Um, no definite answers on anything yet, obviously, but uh, uh, I do believe that uh, the meetings have been helpful. I think there's still a lot of concern out there, but uh, we'll keep moving forward. And, and as more things come up, we'll bring them up and make it make sure that everybody's aware of them. And hopefully those things can be discussed and, uh, and uh, resolved. It's, uh, you know, just a lot of uncertainty and, and people are nervous. People are, as they're feeling about what whether or not this is a good thing or how they should go. Uh, that's pretty normal. So we just do, do our best to keep people informed. And if we don't know, try to find out the answer. Right. And I, I agree with Chris. I think that the meetings have been very helpful. I think everyone knew that there was a lot of anxiety. We just didn't know what exactly it was and couldn't put any finger on it. And so to get everyone to the table and be able to lay those out and try to answer or try to at least know what we had to find out answers to. Uh, and as Chris said, we don't, we don't have all the answers, but we know what we have to try to find out. And part of the challenge has been, um, how do we, or in what way can we discuss what's been going on with some of the hands being tied in certain ways. So it's been, it's been a challenge for all. So we, and we did discuss that. And there are issues that, uh, you know, that can't even be begun to be addressed until we find out if we will be, uh, consolidating within a new format, or if we will be looking for something else to work with uh, from here forward. You know, when we, when people that currently work within the current system with Milton and Milton Township and are either uh, part-time, full-time, you know, what, what happens from here forward and, uh, depending on if we join with Edgerton or if we stay here, uh, what happens to their positions? Uh, and the lack of comfort in making those decisions are, are very real. So. Unless things have changed from the previous discussions, um, historically the conversation had been the mixed system of full-time, part-time paid on call and paid on premise would still remain at some level, either the volunteer with the mix of, of a paid on premise. So I always understood that there will be some level of employment opportunity for, for the members currently, they just may not receive a full-time position. All of them may not receive a full-time position. That'll be based on a um, interview process. Um, but that's, that's what I understood going through this talks with Edgerton, that that was part of that model. It's some level of employment would be available. That's true, uh, but I think that everyone wanted greater clarification. You know, what about me? If I if I want to move forward and uh, I want some some guarantee that I can do what I'm doing and move forward with that, and they weren't getting that clear, uh, guarantee, and you know, I would feel the same way. So hopefully, we can. You know, I know you have worked or talked with Chief Pickering a little bit, but uh, hopefully that will continue. So, thank you for bringing this forward to all of us. And um, if there are things that you feel that would be better noticed to us in an email, then by all means, that works too. Yeah, I think everybody's comfortable with, with those discussions and um, there will be, I, I guarantee you, there'll be a lot more things that come up 
as we roll through this. And uh, well, I'm sure there's going to be some things people like, some things people don't like. That's just the way it goes. And uh, we'll see how it all works out. Okay. All right. <clears throat> uh, President's report. Um, could I, Teresa? I have a brief question because we put the, the financials in the chief's report uh, a couple of years ago. I'm just curious. Um, there was an ambulance door maintenance um, and uh, other faulty circuit board work. Um, is that our um, primary ambulance that was worked on or the one that we're probably going to get rid of? That bill that was in there was, um, there was an accident with the door at Mercy Hospital uh -huh. with our ambulance. And so we paid it outright. And then you will see a deposit that was made for the exact amount from our insurance company. Oh, okay. Because they need that door fixed right away when something happens at the hospital. So. Absolutely. Yeah. So it wasn't due to a faulty ambulance. It was an accident. That is correct. Yep. Okay. Yes. Anything else? Is there a president's report? Yes, it is not on tonight, but there is um, no new business to report from the association. Do you know if the if we're looking at the pancake? breakfast for this year at all or any other fundraisers i want to make sure that we can you know we have a new chamber director and if we have we have these special events going on mm. i want to make sure that we get notifications to the chamber so that they can stick it out in their newsletters also at this point in time we are not having a pancake breakfast it is not scheduled and if we Anything else comes up, I will reach out and let them know. All right, thanks. Okay. Anything else in that way? I'd like to see the possibility of the pancake breakfast, especially with knowing that we're gonna to have to deal with the public on issues. Um, if it's reasonable to, to put something together, I think it, uh, it's another opportunity to be in front of the public yeah we we can try and we can talk about it i'll bring it up at our association meeting but we have half as many people on our roster that we used to so we don't have as many workers it takes a lot of people to run that pancake breakfast um but i will bring it up at the next association meeting which is the first monday of the month and see what um what they say yeah i get that i understand completely um i just don't want to discourage it is what, what i'm saying Right. Um, are we getting any questions from the paper <coughs> calls at all? For what? For our calls, our monthly calls. I'm just wondering if that isn't something that we should be putting in the paper. Um, they haven't, like the number of calls that we usually go on in a month. Yeah, they used to do that. That's been a couple of years since. They don't really care about any stuff. Yeah, they just, they call when there's a big incident or something like that, but otherwise they don't do that anymore. And I think it kind of went away when the newspaper wasn't locally located in Melton anymore that runs the Milton yeah. Courier. And we kind of lost Rebecca, who was kind of, took care of a lot of that stuff. Yeah. Right. right. We don't have a lot of local reporting. Hey, Jenny, I don't want to speak for the rest of the of the commission, but I do think that if we all sit down together to look at what this looks like and then even turn to other sources like teenagers at the high school for silver court hours if that's even still a thing mm -hmm. I only have a teenager there you know like I should know these things <laughs> but I don't right now um but if we could just get creative with it because I would definitely agree that we have to be as much in the community as possible especially based on whatever it is that we do going forward. So don't think that you all are an island, but um, but I think that we can get creative with this. Okay, yep, I will say that. 
Thank you. Okay. Uh, general items. Uh, was con contacted about discussion changing back to in-person meetings. Last night at the city council meeting, it was voted to change city council meetings back to in-person beginning Tuesday, April 19th. And sub subsequently all uh, committee meetings back to in-person meetings as at the same time. So our next fire commission meeting on the 20th would also then go to in-person meetings. I'm assuming that that would be uh, something we could agree on for the rest of this time too. Uh, any thoughts on that from the fire commission members? So when the, when the city's anticipated future meetings, um, will the city attempt to continue with Zoom participation during those in-person meetings or discontinue the Zoom, public Zoom portion of city council meetings at that time? The, the city would go back to meeting in person, but the uh, city's meetings are always publicly taped and then put on the internet for people to watch after the meeting. But, but there, would not, there would not be a Zoom option for participation remotely. No, it goes back to what it always was. Um, and one of the things that we would still have in the event that a member was unable to be there like, like John, um, is we do have the call-in capability at City Hall also where you are recording. Right. Yeah. On the April agenda, will we have the annual chair review position? Uh, that is not, according to our uh, agreement, that is done in May of every year, unless we're going to change our whole uh, agreement between the two bodies. We did it last year for some reason, but uh, we have to change our agreement in order to do that, Brian. I, I think it's usually that. because of April, in case there's an election and then you're, somebody's not reelected. So that's why I think we wait till May usually. Correct, right. and we, we do right. have a, a four people running for three person, uh, Three people. I don't know how to state that. Three seats. And I just last year I just asked the city if um, they wanted to have it on the April agenda. And and that was I fine thought, because we had three people running for three seats. Yeah, and that's fine either way. We, I and mean, historically it has been either or. So yeah. Um so I'm assuming then that everyone wants to meet in person for the next starting in April's meetings. Now you can also see then uh, the discussion of the location of the meetings. And this has come up before and it's coming up again. Uh, it, the discussion was brought to my attention that uh, the preference was by this uh, person was to meet where this, the meetings could be taped. And the emphasis was this, uh, for this was because of the issues that are on the table uh, for changing what is happening as part of the fire uh, before the city and the townships and the need for public involvement and understanding what all these changes are for the township in the city and engaging the public as part of that so that they can follow online or uh, any way that they can become involved and not have to always be in person and not knowing where the meetings are because they change every month um, 
And I'd like to hear some input, input from other people about that. I, do, I feel like it just makes more sense to just have it at City Hall where we can tape the meetings. I, I kind of feel like, you know, we're working on with all of the things that we're working on, plus the fact that we are working with a marketing firm. I, I just, I feel that it's even that much more important to continue being able to record and everybody be present in one way or another. And we've always recorded our town meetings, um, audio, not, not video, but audio. And we've always had call-in availability to members, um, not, not always to the public, but we had done that at times as well during COVID. So it's been all over the place, quite frankly, over the years, mm -hmm. ever since we used to discontinued meeting at the station. And Jenny, do you still record it on your recording device for the fire department? I do not since Inga or D has been doing it. I have not been. But typically when you're in person, were you doing it? Yes. For each meeting? Okay. I mean, I guess I'm not opposed to meeting at the city chambers for each of the meetings for consistency, but um, um, if we're going to go back to the way we were operating historically, the recording was done by the fire department and then kept on file at the fire department. So I guess if people want to go and obtain information about that meeting, they wouldn't go to the fire department, then they would need to go to city hall to obtain a copy of the meeting or information regarding that session. So actually it would, it would be YouTube. So anyone could post the link. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't have to oh, go to the city hall. It could be on the it could be on the town website, city website, Facebook pages, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Don't know, we would continue to suspend the bylaws or the intergovernmental agreement on meeting places then, because that's what we did. We suspended that rule by vote. So are you indicating, Brian, that you would like to uh, do this for April and uh, put a vote on the agenda for next month? The, what we did is we left it up to the chair and the meeting place, and we made it clear that we suspended the rule um, because we all supported meeting at City Hall at that time. So I'm not suggesting that 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 needs to change or must change at all. I'm just making it known that we voted to suspend that rule of the meeting place. So okay. we wouldn't be obligated to that agreement. Okay. Mm -hmm. has, has the town heard anything about the possibility of any of our other townships? coming and participating in our fire commission meetings at all, or? Um, they have in the past, um, we haven't recently, and even until a couple of months ago, we didn't we kind of skip a couple of meetings too, but there hasn't been a lot on our agendas that they feel it directly involves them. But I'm just guessing that that's why they're not chimed in tonight. They don't anticipate an agenda item that would directly affect them. But I would certainly hope that they're interested in joining these meetings. Yes. Jenny, has the agenda been published to those townships um, like they have in the past? Yes, I send one to each of the townships. Okay. Uh, Beth, I haven't heard from you. I guess. Um, I would move to go to in-person meeting for our April meeting at City Hall and then just have an agenda item so that we can just make it a formal a formal discussion unless we're able to take action on it tonight. I, I guess it's one way, six and one half dozen of the other. I'm fine meeting at City Hall. 
No, I don't think that's complicated at all. We, we've suspended the rule and we give the liberty to the chair. So I don't think it's an issue at, at all. So you feel it just could be accomplished by just doing it? Yep, just schedule it um, like tonight's meeting was. To schedule it that way. Yeah. All right, Done. so no motion and it dies for lack of a second. Okay. Um, what time? 6, 6 p.m. 6, okay. Is there any need to go back to a 7 p.m. meeting or does 6 make more sense to continue? Oh. I prefer 6 o'clock, truth be told. Yeah. Six I do as well. I do too. I do. Okay. All right. 6 p.m. at council chambers. All right. Uh, the last item listed under general items. These all came up later. Uh, you can see Jeremy was unable to make it tonight. And March would have been our chief evaluation update for the first time after the original one. We are going to do it every other month. And so he gave me some dates to follow up. I'm hoping we could just have a, a brief meeting. Uh, and he gave the following dates. If you have a calendar with you. Uh, he's free any of these dates all day. The 18th. Of uh, March. Of March, okay. And the 28th and the 29th. Will any of those work? Otherwise, we go into March or April. The 29th is bad for me. The others are okay. And this would be um, evaluation, so this would be closed session. Yeah, and we could we would still do those Zoom, so you could just do those from home. Any of those dates are fine with me. Um, actually, eighteenth might be questionable. Monday the twenty eighth, maybe. Okay, how's that work, John Beth? To be able to make that work. Yeah. Good for me. yeah. I have to be to work at 10 30 and I have an eight o'clock appointment, but if we've got a window in there, um, but I can just, just set the time and I will do what I can and just kind of step out <clears throat> to zoom in. So just can't do that 8 a.m. time frame. Okay. So 10, 11 a.m. That is fine with me. Are you looking at March 28th? Yes. Okay. 11 a.m. Okay. And there was one other. Is it, does Inga have any conflict uh, being able to post the Zoom part of that for that date? Uh, no, uh, Monday, March 28th at 11 a.m.? Yes. Okay, then I'll set up the Zoom for it. Okay. All right. And it feels like forever ago. Can you refresh my memory? Do we already have the notes, or is this a brand new thing and it's just us? No, he'll be coming. Uh, he gave us his notes. Yeah, I remember like three months ago or so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll get those back out to you. Thank you. I guess that's, let me get to the point, Teresa. Can you resend them, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Resend those. And uh, I guess that's it. I thought there was one more thing that I was going to, 
No. Okay. I think that'll be the only thing to discuss that day. So, all right. Uh, anything else? Oh, no, there was something else. I thought that, did we need to talk about um, something having to do with Jenny? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry about that. Uh, we received a notice from uh, Chief Pickering. I may have to resolve that before then. That's too far away. Uh, Chief Pickering had contacted us about some uh, time with uh, Jenny working uh, along with Edgerton, and uh, they would be having her work and paying her for a short period of time during the, the day. And uh, we'll work out the time between Milton and Edgerton to do some of the paperwork now that Russ, Chief Russ, Assistant Chief Russ, is away. And um, so, like I said, that's two weeks. We have to resolve that before then. Mm -hmm. So, okay. okay. So but I'll, I'll explain to you what, uh, what exactly, it, in working out what she does now and how much time, it, it will not affect her job here with Milton. So. Okay. Jenny, uh, is this something you're familiar with? What's what the expectations are of this? Yes, it's what it is, is I'm helping them with their scheduling right now because Russ, Chief Russ did that. Um, and it's in a computerized system, a lab tech, which we used to do our scheduling like that when we had Chief Lippincott. So that's why he had asked me to step in and help that he wouldn't have to train somebody else how to do it because I'm familiar with it already. I just wanted to be careful that we weren't, uh, as a commission, obligating you to something that was an issue. <laughs> um, no, no, they they were not. It was uh, fully uh, not an obligation to take advantage of anyone. And as long as Jenny is okay with that, <laughs> I think it's, it's fine. Yeah. Good. All right. Uh, Nick, unless anybody has anything else, we'll move on to adjournment. Move, move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Great. See you April, or March 28th. Thank you.